So taking you now to Poland, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi presently is before he heads to Ukraine. It's a grand reception that Prime Minister Narendra Modi received. After all, in 45 years, it was the first time an Indian Prime Minister is visiting. These are the visuals. Remember that this is one, a ceremonial welcome. It's a guard of honor that's uh, given to dignitary of the kind of stature that a Prime Minister of the country is. And that you see here. These are the latest visuals coming in from Warsaw. Uh, of course, there was a meeting from the, and with the Indian diaspora as well in Poland. So there were a lot of celebrations and arrangements that were made as well. Uh, these are the latest visuals coming in from Warsaw. Remember, Poland and India are not just about modern nations that uh, are discussing whether it's about trade, bilateral relationship, or democratic connections. But we go way back, uh, and during the World War, when India had provided assistance and shelter to thousands of children from Poland into India. And that is in many ways the kind of historic friendship that India and Poland continues to have. We've had friendship and alliances with, uh, with the nation. But after this, soon uh, later from this visit, the Prime Minister is going to head to Ukraine. And that also is important. Amid the war cloud that's currently on, the war has still been on between Russia and Ukraine. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be heading there despite that situation. And that also is reflective of the friendship we share with Ukraine as much as with Russia. So staying with these uh, visuals, uh, remember that Prime Minister Modi, after touching down in, in Poland, also spoke about the, the, the policy that India has, which is an independent foreign policy to not be dictated how the West wants India's alliances to be. And then importantly, with regard to the peace initiatives that we follow. We're looking at the National Security Advisor there with the Prime Minister, also Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Ajay Shankar. This is a guard of honor that you're looking at right now is happening. It's basically the soldiers uh, ceremonially welcoming uh, dignitary and of the stature of a Prime Minister of the country. It's also reflective of the kind of uh, military power and strength that any nation has. After Morarji Desai, this is the first time that uh, an Indian Prime Minister is visiting. The last visit was in 1979. And uh, therefore, this gains a lot of significance with the two-nation visit that Prime Minister Modi presently is a part of. I want to go across now on the ground. Gaurav Savant presently is in Ukraine, where Prime Minister is going to head now. Poland and then Ukraine. How should we see this visit? Let's begin first with Poland, Gaurav, because over 40 years later, why do you think Prime Minister Modi decided to pay this visit to the country? Pooja, this is strengthening a relationship that goes back to the Second World War and Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself referred to the warm and deep ties between people of India and people of Poland during the Second World War when Nazi Germany was targeting uh, the civilians in Poland. More than 6,000 children from Poland, women from children, they found refuge in India in the state of Gujarat and in the state of Maharashtra, uh, both at, uh, at Jamnagar, where Jam Sahib, uh, Navanagar gave shelter to them, and, uh, when Pol in, and in Kolhapur, where over 5,000 Polish students lived. There are eight Maharaja schools in Poland. So that relationship that started or actually started getting strengthened during Second World War, those schools have given, uh, you know, the alumni include several top diplomats, top administrators, top leaders in Poland. Now the Prime Minister and the President of Poland, uh, Andres Gudeja, and uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, Donald Tusk, uh, Tusk, they're taking this relationship forward from renewable energy to, uh, to business, to defense ties, to drone technology, uh, to uh, economy. You know, there are various aspects where this relationship is being taken forward. Also keep in mind, Poland is one of the closest partners of Ukraine. The Prime Minister has been to Russia, he's heading to Ukraine, and Poland could play a very critical role in ensuring that all sides come together uh, on the talking table. There are some solutions found to this war uh, that's been on for over 900 days. And it's caused thousands and thousands of lives on both sides. Mm -hmm. And Puja, one big, big information is that there is an apprehension that this war is set to intensify in the next several days and weeks unless a solution is found. Gaurav, 
uh, please keep tracking and updating us on what do you see around you. This is going to be significant, remember, because this is about dialogue, diplomacy and democracy and also about the regional peace. The Prime Minister Modi is there in Warsaw as we speak and then heading to Ukraine. Vasudev Kutumbukam, our policy.